हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम द चैनल द फिजिक्स गुरुज लास्ट टाइम आई हैव स्टार्टेड द सीरीज रिलेटेड विद द डेफिनेशंस रिलेटेड विद द ओ लेवल फिजिक्स 5054 एंड सेम फॉर द आईजीसीएसए फिजिक्स 0625 सो इन दैट वीडियो आई हैव डन द डेफिनेशंस from unit number 1 up to unit number 10 and now i will uh, explain the topics along with the definition from unit number 11 so here we go the thermal properties are matter the first thing is the definition related with the temperature so temperature is the average kinetic energy of the molecules so the definition of the temperature is Average kinetic energy of molecules, of particles, of atoms. Kinetic energy of molecules or atoms or particles. Then the next one. Next one is uh, describe a rise in temperature in terms of increase in internal resistance. Now the definition of the internal. energy sorry for the resistance so internal energy the definition of internal energy is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy associated with the atoms and associated with atoms and molecules atoms and molecules that is the definition of internal energy after that we will move the next definition and uh, here is the definition is uh, define the term heat capacity and specific heat capacity so the definition of the heat capacity so definition of heat capacity c that is equal to delta q over delta theta or c that is equal to delta e over delta theta so heat capacity so now i will write down the definition the definition is that the amount of heat energy which is required the amount of heat energy required the amount of heat energy required to increase the temperature of an object to increase temperature of an object by 1 degree centigrade or 1 kelvin that is the definition of the heat capacity then the next one is the definition is related with the specific heat capacity so specific heat capacity so we will define it the amount of heat energy the amount of heat energy heat energy required to increase the temperature required to increase the temperature of an object temperature of an object by 1 degree centigrade or 1 kelvin and have unit mass and have unit mass so it can be 1 kg or it can be 
1 gram as well. So that is the definition of the specific heat capacity. The next definition, we have done it. So what I will do, I will take it, define. Okay, uh, the melting. Then the definition of melting, the freezing, the boiling. Because it is required, that state the meaning of melting point, then melting, then boiling point, then evaporation. So all these definitions I am going to write over here. Okay. The next one is the melting. So the process in which the process in which solid will convert into a liquid solid will convert into a liquid at constant temperature at constant temperature then the definition is uh, freezing the process in which a liquid will convert into a solid a liquid will convert into a solid at constant temperature now the definition of melting point. So next one is the definition of melting point. So melting point is so melting point the constant temperature the constant temperature at which solid will convert into liquid solid will convert into a liquid then the next one is the definition is related with the boiling point The constant temperature, the constant temperature at which liquid will convert, liquid will convert into gas that is called as the boiling point so now the next definition in this topic is oh the definition is evaporation then the evaporation the process so i will give the heading related with the evaporation evaporation the process in which the process in which the process in which more energetic more energetic molecules will escape the surface will escape the surface that is called as the evaporation so the next one is the uh, latent heat then 
specific latent date okay so the latent date f the definition of the latent date then latent date of vaporization then latent date of fusion latent heat simple definition of the latent date is the amount of heat energy which is required the amount of heat energy required to convert one state of a matter one state of a matter into another state into an other state at constant temperature so it can be conversion of solid into liquid liquid into solid liquid into gas or gas into liquid now latent heat of specific latent heat the rest of the definition will remain same as the above that the amount of heat energy required to convert one state of matter into another state of matter at constant temperature and have unit mass now the definition is latent heat of fusion so latent heat of fusion so the amount of heat energy the amount of heat energy required to convert a solid into a liquid a solid into a liquid or vice versa at constant temperature that is the definition of latent heat of fusion now if the definition will be asked in the mcqs option related with the specific latent heat of fusion then what you will add you will add the amount of heat energy required to convert a solid into a liquid or vice versa at constant temperature and have unit mass so unit mass mean 1 kg or 1 gram now we will go through the definition of the latent heat of vaporization so let me write the definition latent heat of vaporization latent heat of vaporization if you will do some bad thing and your father will search for you then you will want that you will evaporate you will vaporize so your father will not able to see you where are you so the latent heat of vaporization the amount of heat energy required to convert a liquid into gas or vapors a liquid into gas or vapors and vice versa at constant temperature so let's see 
uh, which definition is left. Okay. So we have done this as definition. Uh, okay, that at the end of the definition related with this. Now, state the distinguishing properties of solid describe molecular structure, describe relationship between uh, explain the pressure. Okay, describe evaporation, describe how the temperature surface, explain the evaporation cause cooling. So no definition related with this. Now general wave properties. Oh, what is meant by wave motion? Uh, this is a very very important definition. Then uh, the the definition is uh, wave front. Then we will define the speed, frequency, wavelength, speed, frequency, wavelength, amplitude. Then the definition of transverse waves and longitudinal waves. And after that, uh, what are the definition? Okay, these are the definition related with this. So wave motion. So now this is the topic number 13, journal wave properties. So wave motion, the definition of the wave motion. Yeah. So wave motion. The wave is thought as the wave is thought as traveling of disturbance, traveling of disturbance from one place to another one place to an other and it will transfer energy transfer energy called as wave motion okay the next definition is wave front so i will define the wave front uh, in two different ways uh, one of them is uh, the definition which is written in the book and the other definition which is written in the mark scheme so wave front first of all i will write down the definition which has been asked so many time in the mcqs the imaginary line, the imaginary line which will join, which will join all the crusts or all the troughs. I have to define the definition of the crust and trough as well. And the other definition is related with the wave front is or the imaginary line the imaginary line which will join all the points all the points on a wave that are in phase that is called as the wave front okay now the next one is the speed you already know that the speed is the distance travel per unit time now the frequency. So the definition of the frequency is number of waves generated in one second. The 
number of waves generated in one second that second definition is the time period time period is the time required time required to complete one wave or one oscillation then the other definition which he has asked in the learning objective is the definition related with the amplitude so for that because this mcq has been asked so many times and along with the wavelength so i will explain it so now this is the main position this one so at main position the particles are always at rest now this is the amplitude the maximum displacement from main position or minimum displacement from main position is called as the amplitude so the definition of the amplitude is the maximum or minimum displacement from main position similarly this is the maximum amplitude so this is the crust and this is the minimum main position this is called as trough so what i will do define it definitely sure so crust the maximum displacement from main position the maximum displacement from main position and trough the minimum displacement from main position now the definition of the wavelength so the definition of the wavelength is actually the distance between two consecutive crust that is a lambda or two consecutive trough so you can remember this definition in either way so i will write down the definition of the wavelength so wavelength is the distance between the distance between two consecutive crust or troughs that is called as the wavelength now the next definition is the transverse waves and the longitudinal waves so the definition of the transverse waves and the longitudinal waves so first we will define the transverse waves transverse waves the waves in which the waves in which disturbance and motion of particle the propagation of the particle are perpendicular to each other 
are perpendicular to each other. The definition of the longitudinal wave. Longitudinal waves. So the waves in which disturbance and propagation or motion of the particle and propagation of the particles are parallel to each other. Okay, the next one. So this topic, the definition of this topic has been completed. Now the topic related with the light. Then the other one is electromagnetic spectrum. So what I will do? First, I will cover the uh, topic related with the sound, and uh, then I will go through the definitions of the light in a separate video. Because there are many definitions in that. So sound describe the production of sound by vibration, longitudinal nature, compression. Okay. The definition of compression and rarefaction. Uh, then the definition related with the echo. Then the ultrasound. So four definitions I will cover in this video related with the sound. And then I will make the new video related with the light and the electromagnetic spectrum. So the definition of the compression and the rarefaction. So the definition is related with the compression. So the region where the particles are closer to each other and the air pressure is slightly more than the surrounding air pressure because in compression the particle will become closer their volume will decrease and their pressure will increase so the region where particles are closer to each other and air pressure is and air pressure is slightly more than the surrounding air pressure. Now the definition of the rarefaction. Rarefaction. The region where particles are where particles are away from each other away from each other and air pressure is and air pressure is slightly less than the surrounding air pressure. Our last two definitions related with the sound is the echo. The reflection of sound. The reflection of sound. 
then the last definition related with this is the ultrasound. The sound waves, the sound waves having frequency, having frequency more than twenty thousand hertz is <coughs> called as ultrasound. So stay tuned with me for the next video in which I will explain all the definition related with the light and the dispersion of light. Stay tuned. Take care. Bye-bye.